hello guys welcome to the automation tool lesson i hope uh, you are all enjoying, uh, enjoying our uh, video so up to this we have seen about basic plc operations timer counters uh, analog scaling arithmetic operations so now in this video we will uh, discuss about very important topic for process controlling that is pid pid is proportional integral and derivative control so pid is one type of closed loop control system before we directly go for uh, pid uh, we will see uh, open loop and closed loop control system and then we will uh, see how we can configure PID in PLC. So now let's start. See this picture is re uh, representing uh, open loop control system. You can see uh, one boiler uh, is maintaining uh, temperature and process is going on. Uh, so from this pipe oil or gas is feeding to this boiler for burning and uh, boiler is generating steam for further process. This temperature gauge is uh, continuously measuring temperature and uh, this operator is opening or closing uh, this valve after uh, reading this temperature gauge. So in this process there is no any feedback we will not uh, get desired output because this is manual controlled uh, operation. So this pro uh, process or uh, system is not stable if you want a desired output or set point so we must go for closed loop control system so now uh, we will see closed loop control in closed loop control systems we can see uh, this process is uh, monitored by one of the controller that is PID and uh, in this boiler we have installed one transmitter which is continuously measuring temperature and uh, it is providing signal to this control and in control we have set set point and according to set point uh, this control will generate desired output with control valve so according to uh, set point and this uh, temperature uh, process variable this control valve will be operated and this control uh, total uh, will be a closed loop control system so here uh, we are getting feedback from this transmitter uh, so th this will be closed loop control system in this uh, system we will get stable output with very uh, accuracy so in order to uh, uh, establish this uh, control systems we will configure PID so PID is proportional integral and derivative controller which is providing a uh, closed loop control system with feedback so here uh, we have provided one equation here, this is the reference input with re respect to time this P, uh, I and D are uh, proportional integral and derivative terms. So this KP will uh, represent proportional constant. This KI is uh, integral constant and KD is derivative constant. So this E is representing error. So PID is continuously trying to uh, calculate error and it will rectify as per uh, desired output or set point. So continuously PID will integral uh, derivative or proportional. Uh, with uh, this process or variables so now we'll see how we can uh, configure P, uh, pid in plc so here i have taken uh, siemens 1200 series plc and from from uh, Trundle PLC, we will configure PID compact block. For PID compact block, first we will take uh, main OB, sorry, uh, we will take cyclic OB. So, here from uh, this block, you will get cyclic interrupt OB. So, why we need to take cyclic interrupt OB? Because main OB is already uh, doing uh, scan cycle time with fixed interval, but if you want to uh, make PID very faster. So we will take cyclic interrupt OB because in cyclic interrupt OB we can change cycle time. So PID response will be uh, very faster. So that's why we will using cyclic interrupt OB just take block from there and in cyclic interrupt we will configure PID. This PID block you will get from uh, technology uh, object. So here in instructions you will get technology functions and then PID control 
so three types of pid block is there first one is universal pid compact so in this block you will uh, configure different uh, quantity temperature pressure transmitter so this will be for universal purpose second pid block is for uh, integrated tuning valves and third one is for uh, controlling the temperature so here uh, i have configured universal pid block so just drag and drop in uh, cyclic interrupt ob in pid compact block three parameters uh, will take care first one is set point input and output so you can see here uh, i have uh, given any fixed set points you can give here a memory word or memory double word if you if you want to change the set point from scada or hmi two types of input is there if you want to configure for real data type you just give addressing here or if you want to give for uh, integer so you will assign input addressing here same in input output also you can get uh, in data real data type or in integer data type so here i have configured for integer uh, integer uh, integer variable after assigning this uh, input and output parameter we will click on this button so this configuration window will be open in configuration window first control type will select so i want to measure uh, pid for temperature so it automatically it will uh, set uh, the uh, tuning gain input output and parameter will be uh, taken automatically then process value limits so here uh, you can uh, define low limit and high limit for process variable here we have taken 0 to uh, 100 process value scaling so it will take automatically sc scaling uh, from this input then no need to change uh, pw limits and all thing finally we will go for pid parameters here you can, here you can uh, change the proportional gain, uh, gain or integral excel time and different types of coefficients provided and control structures must be pid if you want to go for pi you can change pid or pi after that download uh, this block to plc so i will download and then we will uh, click on this button so this commissioning window will pop up in commissioning window we will uh, we can monitor uh, this process parameter and we can uh, see the output response so here uh, i will click on start button so this graph will be enabled so you can see uh, this graph is already started and in here downside we will uh, first enable uh, the automatic pid and start pid compact so now pid is already started so now if we uh, vary the input as per that output will be changed so you can see here i have assigned uh, the set point 50 and now input is less than 50 so the output is 100% open if i'll increase input and when it will cross uh, set point limit then output uh, response will be uh, down so it will uh, decrement slowly so depend upon uh, change response of this input this output response will be changed so this is how uh, this pid will work you can get uh, this graph here you can see uh, this red color is uh, providing us output graph the green color is uh, indicating uh, input and the uh, this is, this will be our uh, set point set point is continuously fixed so here in this case if i'll increase input and when it is cross a uh, set point then output will uh, go down step by step once again when i will, uh, will increase uh, the input then output will 
go slowly down you can see in this graph also so continuously uh, this pid will try to rectify the error it will try to minimize the error error and uh, it will continuously uh, try to match with the set point uh, with our desired output so if you have any uh, question or qu query you can uh, make a comment in our youtube channel so we'll definitely give you best answer thank you for watching the video mm -hmm.